So now that we're done looking at the field of view argument, let's move on to the aspect ratio argument. The aspect ratio is a ratio of the screen's width to its height. Okay, width divided by height. Let's examine that a little bit further. I got notepad here. Widen it up so I can draw on white blank sheet here. The width of a screen, whatever the units you're using, whether it's pixels or inches or centimeters, doesn't really matter. We measure our screens in some sort of units. Let's say that our screen is one unit high and two units wide. Okay, here's one, two. So two units wide. Well, the width over the height would be two over one or simply reduced down to two. This two here tells us that our screen is twice the width that it is of the height. Now let's flip it over and instead we'll say our screen is two units tall, okay, one, two, and one unit wide. So now our aspect ratio is actually the reciprocal of this. It is one unit wide over two units tall, which reduces down to 0.5. And we simply have a decimal point or a percentage here of our screen's width to its height. Let me tell you why this is important. I'll tell you a story about my TV. I bought my TV for $20 on a classified ad. About five years ago I bought it, and the TV was already like 10 years old by then. So my TV is very squarish, very old. And the problem I have is when I go to Walmart or I go to the movie theaters, their TVs are very rectangular. Yeah, they're much wider than they are tall. And what's worse for people like me is the movies are made to fit the screen. Now, I must admit, the movies look good in the movie theater, don't they? And even on TVs like this, the movies look awesome. But then to people like me that just don't have a TV like this and realize that I'll probably never afford a TV like this because I teach school, somehow I have to get movies that are built for this kind of TV to fit into my TV. Okay, let's, let's make a scene here. I'll put an actor on the screen... And let's say there's an actress on the screen. Give her a little dress. Here's the actress. And there's a tree over here. And so I have a few options to make this scene fit my screen. Probably the most obvious one is say, well, let's scale this down and just slam this rectangle into this cube. So then what I get is a rectangle inside of my squarish TV. This is not perfectly in the middle here. Let me fix it. I'll put it right in the middle. I'll reduce the size of my TV even more because my TV is not those awesome TVs at Walmart. I just scaled or slammed this rectangle into my screen. And so now I can see the actress over here. Here's the actress and the actor and the tree. And then all of a sudden up here and down here, they just fill that in with black. They say, well, we're not using that area, so we'll just black this out like so. And so I've just wasted, not only is my TV pretty pathetic, but I've just wasted all these pixels up here. Oh, it's so painful. It's so painful. But I've wasted all these pixels down here. But the scene actually looks pretty good. Even though it's smaller, the scene here, nobody stretched, nobody skewed, no problem. Now there's another option. There's another option, and sometimes I buy DVD packages, like I'm buying DVDs instead of Blu-rays. You'd think I'd probably buy a Blu-ray player, but no, no, I'm not like that. I buy those old DVDs. Another option is to say, well, let's just cut a square into this scene, and we'll turn this rectangle into a square by chopping off the edges, and then we'll just zoom into here, because usually the most important thing's happening in the middle of the screen anyway. So I don't get this black bar on the top and the bottom, I get this nice big actor right here, but then his girlfriend's gone. His girlfriend's off to the left here, and the tree's off to the right, and all I can see is him. Ugh. Ugh. And I don't get the full picture. Well, there's another option. Let's do my TV again, my squarish TV. And the other option is to say, well, let's do the exact same thing we did here, but instead of wasting the pixels up here and wasting the pixels down here, what we shall do is stretch the scene. Okay, we'll stretch it out this way. Well, then what happens is I get people that don't look quite right. I, the girlfriend's head's up here. She has this really long body, really long dress. She just got a lot taller. Her height is much greater 
than her width. It just doesn't feel right. And the actor, same thing. Really long body. His height is not nearly his width. And then the tree grew. Maybe I can put up with the tree because it has a longer trunk. But hopefully I get the idea. I've just stretched my scene vertically just to make everything fit inside of my square TV. So when we're dealing with the aspect ratio argument to our perspective matrix, that's exactly what we're telling us, saying, hey, our screen is this much wider than it is tall, so I'll compensate for that. All right, let's go back to my other tool so we can examine this in a little more detail. Okay, we're back to this tool. Let me get our world up and the camera and show the box. Move the box to its position that we've been doing for all these videos. Translate it, negative 3. Smush the box in, like so. And then we can fly over here and fly down. Hopefully get it into better view for you, because I can't fit the whole thing in my recording software. But there we go, there's our box. Let's fix the eye to the camera position so we see exactly what the camera sees. And voila, here's what the camera sees. I think I'll actually translate the box out even further. In fact, let me, I'm going to move this up so you can see. Ah! Okay, there we go. I fought with the recording software, and this looks a little better. Now, let's say I came to your house, and I was a super muscle man, and I wanted to grab your TV, and I wanted to stretch it. I wanted to make it wider. You're probably thinking my TV would shatter and bust in two, but let's just pretend <laughs> that I could grab the edges of your TV, flex my muscles, and all of a sudden you would gain many more pixels on this side and many more pixels on this side, and you didn't have to pay any extra money, and the only reason why you got those extra pixels is because I was in a bad mood and had to stretch something. Well, what's really cool about this window is I can do exactly that. I'm going to put my mouse here on the right off the screen and I'm going to drag the window wider and I want you to pay attention to what the camera sees, the camera's view here that I fixed our eye right there. Let's, let's watch what happens to our, our box here. Wide, wide, wide. See how the box goes with the stretch? It's like, oh, I'm stretching it! Oh, I'm stretching it! And then let me put this back. Say our box, instead of being a box, it was an actress. Right here is an actress, here's a dress, I'll do a dress like that, and here's the actress, and her head, and her arms, and I came in, and I said, okay, I'm going to stretch your TV, and I stretch it, well, what's going to happen is the actress, she'll still be in the middle right here, but then she's going to get fatter, okay, whoop, 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 does that help with the sound effects, I don't know why I do that, but our actress just got fatter, and next thing you know, she's not the most popular actress ever because the, our world is somehow obsessed with skinny people. Hence, I'm a computer scientist and not an actor. But anyway, as I stretch the window, then the ad actress gets fatter and you look at it and something's just not right. Okay, it's just not right. It's, it's like, no, 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 this, my scene doesn't look right. And that's the issue I have with my TV. When they squish or stretch the scene, things don't look right. Yeah, I can see the whole scene, but now everybody's taller. And in this case, everybody's wider. So the way we make up for that is we say, hey, our aspect ratio has changed. The width of my view here is much greater than the height of my view. So we simply have to adjust this percentage, and the GLM perspective matrix will accommodate for that watch. I'm going to slide this slider, and before I slide the slider, think about it. Do I need to slide the slider so that this value right here goes smaller, or does it need to go larger? Pause the video and think about it. Before I slide the slider, pause the video and think about it. Well, recall that aspect ratio is width divided by height, and our width increased. Our width is larger. We didn't make it taller. If we made it taller, I'd have to slide the slider to make this value less. But since our width increased, I have to take the slider to the right. So here we go. I'm going to click here, slide to the right. Watch the cube in the center of the screen. Watch what happens as I do that. You see? The cube is compensating, saying, yeah, you go ahead and stretch the screen out. But instead of stretching me out, I'm just going to get thinner. And what you'll actually get is more view over here. Hopefully the movie has more view here for you to see. And you can't see it off to the right of my screen, but there's view off, more view to the right. And now the actress, instead of being this big wide actress I did, she's going to be, she's going to shrink. Okay, at least horizontally, she's going to get her horizontal finesse back. I'll just put this in here and... There we go. Now she looks normal again. She's not as fat because we compensated for it 
with the aspect ratio. And right, now let's let's look at how this looks in 3D. I'm gonna bring my window back in here so you can see most of it. Let's go back and fly around the scene. And oh, do you see the cube there? Do you see what that aspect ratio did to our cube? It it forced the cube to shrink on the horizontal. Right, now let me just play with the slider. The more I go up, I'm saying, hey, the screen's wider and wider. The cube's like, no, don't stretch me out. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Okay, but then let's say we like really tall TVs. We don't like them as wide as we do. Instead of having, I've got my cube TV, and the TV you probably have because you've got a, a, a job out in the industry is nice and wide. Well, let's say instead of doing these nice and wide TVs, we like nice and tall TVs. You hey, don't ask me why we'd like things nice and tall, but let's say we got these nice tall TVs. Well, that's just a matter of saying, hey, our aspect ratio is actually going this direction instead. Instead, and you can see that our box is making up for it. So, anyway, whew, there you go. Aspect ratio. That's what that argument controls. Is just, hey, if if you're really wide, let's shrink this down so we still look normal.